and today I shall talk about different modes of tan delta testing. For any electrical substation maintenance people, tan delta testing for different equipments is a very common test they perform on the equipments. But to carry out test correctly and to get perfect test results, it is important to know which of the mode should be used where. Tan delta test is also known as dissipation factor test or loss angle test. For a perfect insulator, the tan delta should be zero. However, as there is no such perfect insulator, the tan delta of any equipment is always more than zero. But simple understanding is lesser the tan delta value, the better the insulation is. Friends, now let us start with the modes of testing. First, UST mode that is ungrounded specimen test. This type of testing is carried out in such specimen or equipment where there is no earth connectivity. This mode of testing is carried out in the case of cities only where HV cable of the test equipment is connected to the HV side of the city and LV cable is connected to the 10 delta point of the city where the 10 delta point is isolated from earth before carrying out the test. As there is always a chance of leakage current flowing from HV to the LV cable, the accurate process of carrying out 10 delta testing on CT would be UST G mode where the guard cable of the kit is connected to the insulator flange of the CT so that the leakage current flowing over the surface of the CT should not be counted for the measurement of 10 delta. This UST G mode of testing is also used in the case of transformer for finding out the value of insulation between two different uh, windings. This is the schematic diagram of a three phase two winding transformer for carrying out 10 delta testing to find out the insulation between the winding of the transformer. The GS or the grounded specimen test modes are used in such equipments where the test point of the equipment is already connected to the ground through many parallel paths. For example, this mode of tests is used in the case of CBT where test point of the CBT on the secondary side is already connected to the ground through multiple parallel paths where removal of the earth connectivity is not possible. The accurate mode of 10 delta testing on a CBT is GSTG mode where the guard cable of the test kit is connected across the insulator flange of the CBT so that any leakage current which may flow through over the surface of the insulator should not be taken into account for the calculation of 10 delta. For example, the 10 delta testing in a transformer bushing for carrying out test of C2 insulation, GSTG mode of testing is used where the HP terminal of the bushing is connected to the guard terminal of the test kit. Friends, to get accurate test results, correct mode of testing is to be chosen.